am I making for dinner today? I thought about it and asparagus is on sale. And then, yep, I make. I found a pork tenderloin in my freezer. So I'm gonna try a one pan meal. Cleaning the asparagus now. I have bread right next to the camera in the bread machine. Smells delicious. That should be done soon. Yes, Maggie, yes. Give me a second. You've been outside causing a ruckus all day. Okay, so I'm going to let those dry for a bit. you're telling me? Huh? Alright, come on. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to move you for a second. I can get it the sponge for a moment. I'm going to strain some potatoes, my canned potatoes. Those also will go on the pan. So technically it's going to be roasted potatoes, roasted asparagus, and with pork tenderloin. These are the red potatoes I did back in October. See, and these are the water soluble labels. They come right off. They're really cool. And they, they literally dissolve, okay? Gone. I don't have to worry about anything. Ah. Ah. Rinse off the starch. when I set it all up. The bread's done. Oh, hot. Oh, that smells good. can only smell it. Wow, it's delicious. All right, I got the oven to 450. Got my olive oil here. I know I got a lot of extra asparagus, a lot of asparagus, but we just love it might be too much, but that's okay. Oh. She wanted to come in. salt and pepper. Okay. 
No, no, I'm going to do half this way. You'll see why in a second. Now, let me get the potatoes. I know, I'm going to do it this way because the... now same thing with these because you don't want them to burn or stick now I could do garlic too you can do garlic I'm not going to try it this time. You can definitely do garlic or even onion powder. Sometimes just salt and pepper. Okay, so that's that. It's not very big tenderloin. So I'm going to coat it with olive oil also. And some salt and pepper. Because I don't want to do it again on the asparagus. That's too much. So then the juice of the pork will go into the asparagus. Now, I'm going to wait till Russ gets home, which won't be long. This only takes about 25 minutes, and I don't know if he wants to eat the minute he walks in the door. Okay, so I'll bring you back. All right, the oven went off. I checked the temperature. Oh, that looks delicious. Looks delicious, delicious, delicious. All right, a little bit of sticking, but that's fine. That's why I put it on foil, because then I always grab the foil and then I can just scrape it, okay, comes off. So I'm gonna transfer that to a plate. I 
guess I'll just poke it. That looks delicious. All right. Thanks for joining me in this recipe. Try it out. Let me know if you do the onion powder and the garlic powder. Thank you. Bye.